Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you some of the advantages of using HSS even when using 2.5D machining. If we take a look at this part over here, you can see that we have all of these operations that were done here in order to create this part, and all of these operations were 2.5D operations, whether it be pocket operations, uh, profile operations, drilling operations, all these were done for this part. But there are certain surfaces that the customer was not able to get to, and the only way he was able to machine those was by using HSM, such as this surface over here, this chamfer over here, these radiuses over here. And we'll take a look at what he has done in order to machine these surfaces over here. We'll first take a look at this operation over here. And if we open up this operation, we'll see that he's been using, that he used morphed between two boundary curves. The geometry in this particular case, the surface that he'd like to machine was this surface over here, as shown over here, using this line and this line as his boundaries for the part itself. The tool was an eight millimeter end mill. And he also used Gauss check to make sure that he does not go into these walls over here on the side. If we take a look at the simulation itself, you'll see that a toolpath was created exactly on that surface, staying away from those walls. This was only made possible using HSM. The person did not have any kind of 3D operation done in this part, all of the operations were 2.5D, except for surfaces such as this, where he was able to complete them using HSS. As we go further down in our part itself, you'll see that there's another surface that he had done. And if we take a look at the operation itself, again, he has used morph between two boundary curves. And this time, the surface that he had created, that he was working on, was this radius at the very bottom of this stub over here. That's what he wants to machine. The tool that he used was a six millimeter end mill. And if we take a look at the simulation of this part, you'll see that the tool pass is being created exactly around that area over there, directly on that surface. Now we'll go further down in our part and we'll run across another HSM operation and this was done also using the option of morph between two boundary curves. In this particular case, the curve was, was this little surface over here, which had to be completed. The tool that was used in this particular case was a small end mill, a three millimeter end mill with a 0.2 radius on the corner itself. And if we take a look at the simulation, you'll see that the surface is being machined exactly according to the way he wanted to do it. And again, he used only HSS to do these type of surfaces over here. Now we also used HSS in our next operation. And this time, we used again morph between two boundary curves. And the surface that was worked on was this surface over here exactly in this corner, which in no way was he able to do that using a 2.5D operation. And this, again, he was able to complete easily using HSS. Taking a look at our simulation, you'll see that the tool path is exactly on that surface. And again, over here, he also used gouge control not to crash into this wall itself. Now, the last operation that he used HSS for was the following operation. Again, using the morph between two curves. This time, the geometry was this area over here on the part itself in order to get this small chamfer over here. Again, he's using gouge control not to crash into those areas over there itself. And if we take a look at our simulation, you'll see that the toolpath, again, is exactly the way he wanted it on that surface, getting everything that he needs to be done in that area itself. 
Thank you for joining us in Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.